All right, welcome back to the Valhazel of Entertainment. We get some casual guests to the building uh, this morning. Now, we did talk fashion. Um, and we know, say, just last weekend, that will be conclude the Lagos Fashion Week 2018. Uh, we've been there, there. Very, very glamorous event. And now, another fashion week they come up. But this one, a different fashion week. Something different. Um, this one, they call them the Plus Size Fashion Week. Plus Size Fashion Week. We know, say, for most ladies, you understand what we mean when we say plus size. But maybe for the men... <laughs> Uh, we're not going to know it to be plus size. So now we have some ladies in the house who will explain to us, first of all, what plus size means. And they will tell us more about the forthcoming plus size fashion. We, first of all, we get uh, Temia Bodenri Alao. Uh, she is the CEO, the founder of the plus size fashion week. We also get um, Ola Kemi Obi. Uh, also, she is a plus size model. And then finally, we have Alia Anthony. She is a plus size model. Join us to welcome all of them. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, when I go follow us, speak this morning. Ah, uh, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll try. Uh, all right. Welcome to our studios. Thank you for right. having First us. First of all, I would like to ask: From what size will you say someone is plus size? I always get this question. Mm. Mm. So my own personal description for me personally, I think you have to be 16 and above. But if you look at like a fashion standard, especially Western fashion standard. They, they, they're from like 10, 12, they're telling you that you're a plus size uh, model. But for me, that just means you're just a normal woman at that point. Yeah, so for me, you have to be 16 and above. That's what I feel personally. All right, I would like to ask, when exactly did um, Plus Size Fashion Week in Nigeria and Lagos start? Well, um, I've been doing a plus size, I've been in the plus size industry since 2011. Uh, I, when I came back from England, I started doing like plus size modeling, uh, a plus size store, JB Kingdom, you know, I just I started doing that. And then I've been doing a lot of fashion shows, high end fashion shows. We've done over 20, yeah, including Africa Fashion Week Nigeria, you know, those kind of shows. And I just decided, you know what, it's time for our own platform because every time we pay to be on these other people's platforms, it's now time to put the resources together. People now understand what the plus size industry is about because it's more popular now. It's time for us to have our own fashion week with our you know, designers and everything. Okay. And yeah. coming into Nigeria, how acceptable was it when you first started? No. They would say you're promoting obesity. <laughs> yeah. They would say things like you're promoting obesity. What, you know, they would not understand. I mean, we would, my models would get laughed at on, on the stage. They would say things like, oh, they're going to fall. What are they doing? But then eventually um, we realized that, uh, you know, that's not what we're doing. We just have to pass our message across. It's about self-confidence, body positivity, yeah. first and foremost. Like this year, for example, last year we didn't have a master class. This year we're going to have a master class. And we're going to have a section talking about weight loss. Yeah, you, the whole point of the master class is glow up and flawless. What do you need to glow up to be better in your life and be more comfortable in your own skin, right? So um, we're going to have talks from people who've actually gone through a weight loss process. How has that helped you? And those that have decided that, look, I'm going to stay the way I am and be the best possible version of who I am. So we're covering all those ground. It's about body positivity for all women. All right, yeah. let me speak to the models now. Um, yeah. Alia <laughs> and uh, Ola Kemi, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. For how long have you been models, Alia? Um, maybe I would say roughly about a year, a, two years now, actually. Yeah. yeah, two years now. I met Ola Kemi roughly about two years ago. I hope you didn't run into each other on the run. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And like, I mean, how long have you been the model for? Um, for myself, about four years now. Like, probably, yeah, full time. Uh, Aliyah, where are you from, by the way? I'm actually from Thailand. Ah. Yeah. Um, so if I wear this hat, I'm in, I'm in place. Oh, I was going to say, I want to one. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wear it? Yeah. OK, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll give it to you as a souvenir. I actually wanted the hat. The other one. The, one. Yeah. Yeah. the lady yeah. wore. Yeah, that, that would be better. Cute. I mean, well, yeah, this, this is something my granddad mm. would wear. My <laughs> 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 love is there. I'm not as old as your granddad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so quickly, I want to ask you now, is there any difference? Do you, do you feel a certain type of way when you see other, um, you know, lower sizes models, you know, on the runway as regards you? Now, in this part of the world, we know that there's always this thing about uh, women who are plus size as regards women who are smaller sizes. Is there a difference between plus size models and the other side, the, the models of the other sizes? Do you mean as, as a whole, as women? Like, are yeah, we... is, is there any discrimination? Is there any, is there any line of difference? Oh, no, these are plus size women. No, these are regular size women. I think that's the issue. I feel they're all women. It's just that no one should be tearing down another woman because of their size. We all need to be celebrated. Yeah. And I think because we are labeled, the issue now, now we become segregated, whereas we all just want to be seen as the same. We all deserve to be represented and celebrated. 
Now, sometime last year, I think it was, or two years, last year we had some um, models here who were also plus size. And as okay. a matter of fact, for me, it was the first time I knew that, um, you know, we had stuff like uh, plus size modeling. Yeah. Okay. And it was really glamorous. They were pure Nigerian models. Mm -hmm. they, they were doing their thing here. Yeah. And it was the very, very first time. So would you, for people like me, as I then, or now I'm more enlightened, yeah. would you yeah. say that knowledge about plus size modeling has spread wide enough? Yes. It's, it's, it's uh, like I would always say now everybody and their grandmother is doing plus size and wants to be inside plus size. I mean, as I said, 2011, no one would, wanted to touch it. But from around about 2016, designers popped up from everywhere. Uh, people who what said they were pushing plus size agenda in, in, in Lagos started talking, you know, but at the end of the, the day, the foundation was set by myself, mostly, and other people who who are bold enough to keep going to these shows, investing time, energy, money, going into all these kind of shows, trying to make sure we get that visibility. And that's what Plus Size Fashion Week is about. If you notice our influencers that we have this year, we have up to 16 of them, you see the diversity in the, in the looks of the women. Some are quite smaller, and while some are big, you know, because as she said, it's about inclusion. Yeah. We're trying to be inclusive, every kind of woman. And if you look at runway standard, like Western runway standard, size two, size four is not practical mm -hmm. in real life. Yeah. So even though this is a labeled plus size fashion week, I feel it should just be women's fashion week. Yeah. yeah I feel that's what it should be called. But we've, we have to just categorize it because people like ca categories like that. But it should just be women's fashion week. Celebrating, I mean, one of the influencers, I think, is even like a size 10 or something. It's a celebration of women. That's just what the African women, that's what Plus Size Fashion Week is about in all our shapes, forms, and sizes. And that's the beauty of life, and that's the beauty of, you know, being a woman. And if I can add, you know, um, what you were asking about Plus Size and how it's going, I think it's because of the body positive movement as well. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Plus Size Fashion Week Africa has the masterclass to help women and their well-being as well, that's, what, that's what's helped it to grow and made people like, wow, what is this about? Like, it's more than just being on a catwalk or taking mm -hmm. the photos. It's like the well-being of a woman as well. Yeah. And that's why it's growing. I celebrate women every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. um, um, uh, Ali, is this your first time in Nigeria? It is. <laughs> How excited are you to be in Nigeria? I'm so excited. Yay. Honestly, I've always like, I've been wanting to come for a very long time. Okay. So, you know, once the opportunity came, I was like, I have to go. Yeah. have to go. I right. love jollof. Yeah. Oh, I've had every jollof in Lagos. <laughs> don't try, don't try Ghanaian jollof. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were just that. talking it's, about that the other day. It's a lifelong <laughs> battle. We've, we've been winning all the while. All right, now, mean, let, let, let's come to, to Thailand. Okay. Um, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but of course, based on social media and what we see on TV, mm -hmm. um, Asian women are not really on the big side. No, I get that a lot. You get that a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get that all the time. Um, of course, where I have the height, so I, I'm five foot eight and I'm, you know, quite broad, I'm big boned and, you know, curvy, curvy, yes. of course. Um, but when you think Asian, when you think Asian, you just think petite, yes. small, yes. you know, yeah. but you know, there's like, like uh, Sister Temi said, there's women of all shapes and sizes. Um, and of course, you know, my job here currently is to be, you know, the, the representative of uh, my community. Mm -hmm. So coming into Asia, plus size fashion week, is it also this big in Asia? Do you know, uh, we actually don't have one in Asia. We don't, we don't currently have one in Asia. But then again, they don't really have fashion like that in Asia either, especially Thailand. All right. Who knows? Uh, you just might be the one exactly. starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. knows? Well, for giving you the idea, why Zobia TV might just be media partners. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, very quickly, what, 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 what should we be expecting from this year's uh, this year's uh, fashion week? Okay. So, um, last year was a one one day show, but now we've we've increased it to a two day show. Okay. We have the Saturday afternoon, which is uh, starting kicking off red carpet at four p.m. Okay. And then we've got Saturday evening, that's going to start around about 7 p.m. So we have, obviously, international designers again this year, USA, UK, Kenya, uh, Benin. So it's, it's even more broad this year. So we have all that happening. And then you've got the gala night on a Sunday, which is also an award night. So we'll be giving awards to people in the community that we feel have, you know, fought for women and done good things in their industries, basically. And then we have the masterclass, which is I'm very excited about that masterclass that we're going to do this year. Um, we're we're going to talk about business, 
you know, growing up with your business. You know, I, I mean, Nigeria is a country where everybody is like a hustler and, you know, there's that entrepreneurial spirit within everyone. And sometimes that is the key to your glow up, to feel better about yourself in, 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 in life. So we've got esteemed people, like even the chairperson of Wimbiz, who just happens to be my sister. Yeah, Abodari Talabi, that's my sister. And um, other people, Omilala Shikoya, also my cousin. Doing it, yeah. So we're all there, Benalla you know. Kene, your friend, <laughs> yeah. He also <laughs> my friend, yeah. <laughs> so it's we've got you're doing it afraid. So we've got all the Bookie Karibi White. We've got all these panelists. So that for me, to me, I'm so excited about that masterclass. I'm so excited about what what women are going to take away from yes. that masterclass. It's not just for, as we said, it's not. I know we've labelled it plus size, but it's women. Mm -hmm. Just come in and be celebrated. You know, we've even got the uh, makeup sponsor, Hegia and Esther, are going to kind of do a makeup tutorial with women because it's important. Yes. Women are ju judged by the exterior. So we need to also, if that's what's going to make you feel better, yes, please slap on that lipstick and mm -hmm. feel, better, feel better about yourself. So that, to me, is the key thing. Don't miss the masterclass. That, that's what I'm particularly looking forward to. And the gala night is going to slay. I don't yeah. know if you've seen any of my collection. So <laughs> I'm bringing my, my A game. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. Hopefully. People are just whispering in my ears now. Okay. Uh, that uh, it should not just be for the women, but the men too, who would like to see good looking women. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, they should come. Yes, they come and watch. Right. Okay. Yes, we're happy to have you sit down, you know. <laughs> yeah, and watch. We will as definitely be there. <laughs> so, where's it going to hold? Oriental Hotel mm. uh, on the 3rd and on the 4th, that means this weekend. Yeah. So that's Saturday and Sunday at Orient Hotel, the main, in the main ballroom. Okay, that's yes. beautiful. We definitely yes. look forward to being there. Please do. Yes. We definitely will see be you, there. See, you, see, you, see, you, see, you, see you. All right, then. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us in thank, the studio. Thank you so much and, for having um, us. And uh, we definitely believe and we hope that it's going to be a huge success. And uh, we do look forward to more partnerships. Okay? Yes. As yes. time comes up. <laughs> All right. So that's so why you don't be with the plus size models. <laughs> no, plus size fashion week. But, but please, before you go, say something in Pigeon. Say something in Pigeon. Mm -hmm. um, say goodbye in Pigeon. I don't know. Oh, just say what I okay. <laughs> No, no, no. Can I just say a sentence? Okay. Make an idea, can't we? Aha! That's, that's what we do. And please say something in Thai. Swadika. Swadika. Yeah. Um, well, it has to be pigeon for you too. I don't know anything. I do. I do. All right. I'm all very right. Ajibata. Okay, I can see that you're Ajibata. I'm very Ajibata. All right. We'll teach you how not to be Ajibata. Okay. <laughs> To enjoy more of these our get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.